To remain updated with the latest business news, click on the bell icon. Well, the new Bellino is here, and after approximately three months, uh, we get to meet the MD and CEO of Marty Suzuki, Mr. Kenichi Ayukawa. Congratulations, uh, Ayukawa san, and, uh, and uh, of course, great congratulations to the new vehicle. Yeah. Tell us about the expectations of the vehicle, sir. Great pricing, uh, great aggressive looking car with good features. Tell me the, the time, why is it launched now? Do you think it could have been posted for a later holy release or something? I think it, uh, it is my pleasure because that, uh, we have we preparing a the new age brand to the customer. Uh, since 2015, that uh, we launched this vehicle, and uh, already seven years has passed. Unfortunately, that uh, due to the COVID, etc., happened that you know we had a little bit delayed that uh, new launch. But unfortunately, today we can uh, start delivering it to our customer. People are waiting in the market. It's my pleasure. Uh, the, the season is clearly of the uh, SUVs and the MPVs. Uh, don't you think that first an Ertiga or an XL6 could have been given a more aggressive look and then probably a hatchback segment could have been looked at? No, no, no. no. We are separate, you know, uh, uh, equally that preparing those kind of, uh, you know, segment already. That uh, gradually that we can uh, opportunity to uh, announce that the market. Right. Uh, sir, how much investments have you put in for this uh, particular model? and? Uh, where will this be manufactured and how much uh, percentage of it the share would be going to the Toyota model as well? Uh, at the first uh, that we uh, are already announced that uh, 1500 crore they invested in this model uh, you know to and also that uh, this model already shifting from the Haryana to the Gujarat and we will continue the producing at the, this model in the, the Gujarat as you said that you know uh, this model also targeting it at the global market and uh, already hand, more than 100 uh, countries are exporting the uh, old version. Maybe we can continue that, you know, those, those kind of market. Uh, Gujarat is a very convenient export, right? That's why that we continue to the producing this model in the Gujarat. To uh, ensure that, that we are, of course, we co good relationship with them and uh, former model that providing them. They, they will decide by themselves that uh, we can, anytime we can support that. Right. Uh, Ayukawa-san, what is the electric vehicle scenario? Is, is the 2025 plan completely on the table? And uh, are there any joint ventures that you're planning for the electric vehicle? Because many companies have started doing joint ventures with experts in the industry. So is there a plan on the table? We are a manufacturer. <laughs> you know, we try to do uh, by ourselves. But uh, already 2025, by 2025, uh, Motor Corporation announced that uh, India to launch the vehicle. We only the only that two and uh, three years remain, right? We have to start preparation, but uh, manufacturing preparation that uh, uh, EV soon. Okay. Uh, you'll be soon manufacturing the EV, starting to manufacture. That's a great uh, news input, sir. A second last question to you: uh, How's the semiconductor uh, shortage been now? Uh, has the issue resolved? Is the waiting time further increased? Because last time we spoke. Uh, there were various vendors from Singapore and Malaysia that you were talking to for an increased supply. <laughs> so, uh, has the issue resolved, sir? I think that the issue is not the perfectly, you know, uh, uh, resolved because that, uh, day by day some new issues are coming, right? And uh, for, of course, uh, comparing at the, the last uh, August to September, last time uh, the situation becomes better. And globally, COVID condition is uh, improving right now. That's why some countries are facing a difficulty, but uh, due to COVID, the situation is changing. But globally, that not only auto industry, but other, including other industries, the chip demand is very, very high. And unfortunately, the global capacity of the chip maker is limited. We have to try to that, uh, you know, find some solution. It takes time, maybe one year, something like that, more. By, by how much time do you think the problem will uh, ultimately be resolved or probably be lesser for the consumers? I think the situation becomes better, but still continues some portion, not 100%, you know. It's, it's a, it takes a long time. Right. Last question, sir. Uh, uh, there was a recent, about two months ago, there was a price hike that was announced, sir. Uh, in the in intermediate future, are you expecting a price hike? Are you anticipating? Have you spoken uh, between the company about uh, intermediate price hike, sir? I think that uh, we are reviewing it. That, um, I already said that uh, Mr. Shang said that you know to we reviewing carefully that that you know uh, cost situation and maybe last year very uh, you know quickly you know improving at you know commodity price etc. I hope this year a little bit stable. We can try to that, uh, absorb some cost that by uh, our you know uh, cost reduction effort. Is so more near term hike expected? 
depend on the situation. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot. Sir, uh, because it's a global situation, the very, very, you know, uh, fast moving, right? We have to carefully watch because all our component material linked to the, the you know global economical condition. That's why the, we cannot decide by ourselves easily. Sir, uh, with this global crisis between the Ukraine and the uh, and uh, that crisis, sir, uh, are you anticipating any impact on the industry in India or probably your exports or any other uh, scenario that you are looking at? Any comment on that? Point is that uh, you know uh, material and the component. If related to some that, those area, we have to carefully watch. But this moment we cannot recognize so much serious. So no impact as of now you are foreseeing. No, 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 no. We have to see well. Well, okay, that's why that's that was. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. Uh, well, that was the MD and CEO Kenny Chayokawa talking about how the input costs uh, have been uh, troublesome, and with, the, with respect to the price hike, uh, they'll have to take a call on as to when uh, the price hike could probably be done. But yes, as of now, uh, the situation seems to be stable. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.